Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, Taurus, let's just jump right into this here. This is a general energy reading for your May of 2020, yeah? So I have your pre-shuffle here. We have the Page of Cups, we have the Fool, the Tower, the Empress, and then at the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Wands, and I'm using the Wild Unknown here for you guys this month yeah so um taurus i really feel like there is a dream in your heart right now that you're ready to take the steps that are necessary to take to move towards i'm getting this from you know the page of cups or in this case the daughter of cups to me the page of cups is the dreamer energy um it is a, it could be an apology a message of apology a message of love reconciliation um what I'm hearing for you here, Taurus, is that you have a dream in your heart, okay? And there's finally been enough of a release, of a purge, of a destruction, or at least maybe even a change in perspective in your life now that has cleared the way for you to take this leap of faith. You have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, but then you also have the Fool here, and you have the Empress. Now, the Empress... What I'm hearing with the Empress is you're loving yourself. The Empress is Venusian energy or Venus energy. Uh, Venus is your ruling planet, Taurus. Uh, there's, a, there's a sense of unconditional love, appreciation, maybe even for yourself, also for the universe as well. I, I'm feeling that, that, that that's pretty big. There is a sense of appreciation or just for to a certain level uh, extent thankfulness and it could very well be for everything that you've experienced in your life because i feel this energy for you taurus this feels very freeing for you okay it's like you're you're you, you've got no you got no strings anymore you've got no strings on me right we can call you pinocchio i guess um this is a good energy to move forward with and you could still very much be in a little bit of a you know uh, remorseful period just because of things that are falling away all of the old things that you're needing to let go of but ultimately there's a sense of lightheartedness fun excitement adventure um keeping the dream alive i'm feeling with this page of cups energy or at least allowing yourself to move forward with it with the empress here there's enough unconditional love and abundance here for you to feel safe in moving forward with whatever, with whatever is new here for you with the fool now this empress energy could also be you okay you could be really embodying the divine feminine settling into your inner sense of divine feminine being this empress energy that you are and maybe it could very well be because of this empress energy for you taurus um, being very nurturing, caring, unconditionally loving, giving, abundant, beauty, be uh, beautiful, handsome, sensual, any of that stuff. Just kind of like feeling yourself in that way, right? That could very well be the reason why you have experienced some sort of tower moment here. Like I'm literally kind of pick picking up an energy of some of you have been this empress that has in fact created a tower moment so that you can be free to move forward with your dreams. And I feel like the, 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 uh, the space, the energy the, is very clear for you right now, Taurus, Eight of Wands. Or at least it's going to become clear or be clearer or or something in the month of may okay this is beautiful taurus all right so let's get into the rest of the reading here and we'll see what else we've got for you yeah cool all right Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all, all for the month of May 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Taurus, three shuffles here for you. One. Two. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May 2020. Three. Very happy birthday to you guys, yeah? I'm a Tauran myself, so it's birthday month here. Woo! <laughs> All right. 
Here we go. Overall energy for you, Taurus. We're starting you off with the Seven of Swords. Very interesting. Um, I mean, the first thing that I got with this, Taurus, was that you were just keeping, you're, you're being very hush-hush about whatever changes it is that you're making in your life or maybe the changes that you're desiring to make in your life. I don't really feel like you're communicating too much about whatever the dreamer energy or the Page of Cups was talking about. I think I just feel like you're very you're keeping it very close to you. You don't want to allow anyone the opportunity to get in and like sabotage it, whether they do it on purpose or not. It doesn't matter. You're it's like you're not trying to allow anyone to get in the way of what it is you're moving towards. Now, for some of you, I'm also picking up the Seven of Swords energy is what you were dealing with in the past, and it could very well be that this has been a focal point for you over the this last period, whatever. Um, and I just get a sense that maybe that, well, there's a need for forgiveness here, if that's what you've been dealing with, sure. And I think you're working on that. But I think there's also an energy of seeing it clearer, seeing it truly for what it is. This could be a toxic cycle that you're putting to rest for yourself. Underneath the Seven of Swords. Oh, look, now you have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so we've progressed from the page to the Knight here, all right? And what I'm getting with this is that I feel like there has a, there's a decision that has been made in which you are ready to start making moves now, taking action in terms of what it is your heart desires, whatever it is the Page of Cups or that Dreamer energy was talking about in your pre-shuffle. But again, I don't really feel like you're trying to talk about it too much. Seven of Swords. You're keeping it very hush-hush, very close to yourself. Underneath the Knight of Cups, ooh, is the Hanged Man. There's the change in perspective that you were that you needed um, in order to move forward. And I also feel like this change in perspective is a culmination of everything that you've experienced in the past, which is allowing you to stay hush hush. You've experienced situations in the past where it's like you inadvertently divulged too much or just got really excited and really wanted to talk about it. And people, places, circumstances got in the way. You're not going to do that anymore. Okay, you've really learned a lesson here, Taurus. Under, I just get this very strong feeling that you're very quiet about something right now. Underneath the Hanged Man is the Queen of Wands. And underneath the Queen of Wands, it's caught my attention, so I'm going to say it, but it's judgment. Okay, so yeah, you're very much in Law of Attraction mode. You know, you are, you've heard a calling or you felt some sort of push to move in a certain direction to get, to get something underway to make your goals and dreams a priority, which ultimately is going to lead to you making them a reality. And the Queen of Wands energy, or in this case, the Mother of Wands, is talking about you getting into that alignment with it, with what it is your heart or soul and or soul is calling you towards, judgment, okay? That's really beautiful. But see, I do, for some of you, I feel like this is a very, uh, uh, this is a preliminary period. It's like you're just now settling into this understanding. You're just now settling into this change in perspective. Something has just finally been cleared away sufficiently enough for you to see where your dreams, your goals, and potentially your happiness truly lies. And so now this is a time for you to work on getting in alignment with that. You don't have to talk about it. You don't have, to, I mean, you can write it down. You can do manifestation tools, but you don't have to talk to other people about it. You don't have to let anybody even know that you're even thinking about doing this or moving in this direction or whatnot, what whatever. Right now, it's about maintaining that alignment. And actually, it may be better not to really talk about it right now because that could just be a distraction. You know, other than the fact that people could get in, get their energies could get in there and inadvertently or very much on purpose, purposefully sabotage you. Or it could just be that too many people could end up giving you opinions, insight, options, suggestions, blah, 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 that it all just gets muddled up and it all just gets, you know, jumbled and you, you, you risk the, you risk losing sight of what it is you're actually after. Okay. So this really, I don't feel like this is a time, I don't even think you want to talk about it. You just want to focus on it and getting in alignment with it and moving forward. So, okay, beautiful. I love it, Taurus. All right. First half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you. You have the magician. Yes, very much in manifestation mode. I mean, you're you're taking you're taking action on your own and I kind of get a very strong feeling that you're not even really trying to work with others. 
It could be a situation in which ideally you might want to have a team, but I just feel like there's a very strong willed energy right now for you, Taurus, of like, no, I'm going to handle this on my own. And there are even some of you out there that are that are approaching it from the mindset of if you want anything done, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself or you're better off doing it yourself. That could be a little self-defeating, self-sabotaging, but I just feel like right now you are so focused on what it is you truly want that you're not trying to allow anyone else to get in there because you don't want any outside opinion. This is what this is. This is your focus. This is your manifestation. Should it come to a point where you do need help? Okay, I see you being open to that. But right now, I just feel like you're in preliminary point, a preliminary phase, really just starting to get the basics together. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Getting the basics in line, setting the stage for yourself to then take further steps later on to then open up or bring people in or you, that kind of thing. Okay. The magician is coupled with, Ooh, the queen of swords. <laughs> yeah. Talk about no bullshit. Straight facts. If you don't have anything to give or any, any sort of anything that can be beneficial, I don't want to hear about it. I'm not trying to waste my time. I'm not trying to waste your time. I've got too much to do right now to sit here and listen to you ramble off about your own things that have nothing to do with what I'm trying to manifest here. I mean, you could be coming off kind of cold right now, Taurus. You really could. But ultimately, it's because you're focused. Don't get in the way of a Taurus and their focus, man. They will steamroll over you because they're not even trying to pay attention to you right now. And it's nothing personal. I promise it's nothing personal. Now, for some of you, this could be a situation in which you're breaking free from a relationship and now you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm on my own. I'm solo. And your input has absolutely, your opinion has absolutely no weight here. Again, I don't feel like if you're a cross watcher watching for a Taurus right now and you're dealing with this with them, it is not, I, 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 it's not personal. Okay, I, I really don't think it's personal. They're just very focused. Now it could be personal in terms of like, maybe if you're like a relationship and maybe you treated this person, this Taurus wrong, and now they're like, fuck you, I'm out of here. But again, I still don't think it's all that personal. I think this person is really just really focused on where their true happiness, where their manifestations lie. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, a new beginning, a new start. And I just, I just get this energy that you're cultivating this right now, Taurus. This might be hard to translate, but I, I just see you spinning, spinning the DNA to create the, the seed or the cell that's going to grow ultimately into the organism that you're trying to build, that you're trying to manifest, that you're trying to give birth to. That organism doesn't have to be like a real living person, but I'm saying whatever it is you're trying to create, I'm seeing this Ace of Pentacles as that seed. And I just get this feeling that you're you're weaving the DNA to create. And I mean, obviously we don't specifically do that. That's just the imagery that I'm getting. But from a higher perspective, right? Outside of three-dimensional reality. It's like you're, you're, you're putting together the pieces to create this seed that you can then plant and grow into whatever it is you're looking to manifest. You have a new reality on the precipice. You have, or, 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 or excuse me, you're on the precipice of a new reality. You have, you have a new life ahead of you. There is, there is a, there is a new adventure around the corner or just or, or across the horizon or whatever. Okay. Beautiful. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with the nine of pentacles look at you taurus so you're standing in your nine of pentacles state about to create or working on creating that that last pentacle to complete your 10. this could have something to do with family some of you could be setting yourselves up to have a family to start a relationship to be in alignment with meeting a new soulmate or something like that i'm getting strong family vibes from this i feel like this is someone that's very much independent and is ready to start a family or start integrating more people into their lives or taking more responsibilities somehow. That's really beautiful, Taurus. Oh my God, I love that. Okay, your challenge in this first half of the reading here, 
mother or queen of pentacles. Um, you know, I'm getting a little bit of a, dis a disciplinarian energy here with the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles can be pretty tough, lovey type, but I also feel like this is you ener your energy, Taurus. The challenge here is you need to be reminded. You need to constantly remind yourself who is calling me. Sorry, guys. You need to constantly remind yourself to stay compassionate. Ooh, I should pause. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. It's actually a good thing that I took that call. Okay. Anyway, um, so this Queen of Pentacles energy, the challenge here for you, Taurus, is to not be too cold, basically, is what's coming out with this. I mean, here's the thing. As a reader, I see the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles as besties because they have a very similar work ethic. They're very much no bullshit. They're not going to allow you to run amok. They don't want their time wasted. They're very much committed to whatever it is is going on, okay? But the Queen of Pentacles has that more motherly, compassionate, loving, um, warm energy. The Queen of Swords is not about emotion. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles understands emotion, but she also understands rigidity because she is of Earth, right? So, okay, be about your business, okay? Get down to business, get down to work, but also your challenge, Taurus, is to remain, keep some sense of compassion and understanding in focus. Don't be too cold. Okay, Queen of Pentacles is coupled with the Nine of Wands. So this could actually, yeah, the, you could be facing burnout here. Okay, you could, th this, this or this could be a situation that's just going to take a long time to deal with. And you're going to have to pace yourself, okay? So make sure to take care of yourself, to nurture yourself, to care for your body. If you need to rest, take the time to rest, all right? Because I... Either this is going to be a long process or it's been a long process up until now or a combination of both. Don't give up. And I don't feel like you have given up, but it's still just make sure you remain as compassionate as possible, okay? I want to say at all times, but again, within reason. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half. Sorry, let me adjust the camera here. In the first half of your reading here, Taurus... The Three of Pentacles. Good. Rebuilding. Uh, uh, honestly, though, I'm getting a sense of teamwork here. You might want to start thinking about how you can ask for help, how you, how you can delegate, how you can build a team um, in the physical realm. Because obviously you have your spirit team always with you. But you might want to think about asking about how you can, or investigating how you can, you know areas that you can get help from others right three of pentacles is coupled with and and i understand we were talking about that before how you're not even really focused on that but you might be starting to i, I just feel like spirit is asking you to to try and delegate a little all right three of pentacles is coupled with the nine of cups look at all these nines here for you taurus nine of pentacles nine of wands nine of cups no nine of swords Thankfully, at least not yet. Um, but you're building. I really do feel like, because the Three of Pentacles is also about a self-mastery and rebuilding, the rebuilding of a foundation or building a foundation altogether. And the closing message here is I just really feel like, Taurus, you're in an energy right now where you are really just, you're building, you're building your dreams. You're heading towards where your dreams lie and you're doing the work necessary to master yourself in order to achieve those dreams and goals as well all right that's great i really feel like this is going to come to fruition should you continue working in the way that you have been already all right let's get into the second half of your reading here for a set of surrounding energies for you taurus you have the tower there's the tower again all right big change um i feel like you could be moving uh physically you could be moving to a new home Change for the better, though. The tower is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> there you go, Taurus. See, look, here's the thing. This, this tower energy here 
is happening, whatever this is for you, the strongest thing that I'm getting here is the is a physical move from one physical place to another, like one home to another. Uh, that's the biggest thing that I'm picking up with, picking up on. But it could also be symbolic. It doesn't have to be fig uh, a literal. Okay, it could be figurative. Um, but there was a completion of a lesson here that has that is allowing things to change that is allowing things to be removed from your life so if there's any sort of confusion that you're feeling taurus as to why this is happening right now really look back on how far you've come the person that you used to be we'll go back as far as six months not even i mean that's not that far just look back six months and look at how much you've changed and look at the, the, I, I want to say specifically for some of you, look at what you, you would have tolerated then and what you will not tolerate now. And then put it all into perspective, right? Put th go through the things that you've experienced and see how you have changed for the better. That's why you have a tower moment. That's why you have a completion of this lesson. That's why you're now in this nine of pentacles state, developing a new life for yourself to find the, the, uh, the 10 of pentacles that you desire. Okay. Cause the 10 of pentacles can, 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 while it can be, you know, the completion of a lesson, a, a life lesson, a, a life circumstance, it could also be everything that you wanted physically, f ultimate physical, financial, even fulfillment okay and that's what you're going towards that's what you're after it kind of even feels like whatever this lesson is that has completed for you here is exactly what you needed to get you to the point where you can now really truly manifest what it is you really want mm -hmm. second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here taurus you have oof okay well there you go you have the eight of cups walking away leaving the past behind um I, I, it's no it's no surprise to me that you all those glasses are are broken there because the situation is old and outdated i feel like some for some of you you might have even been beating a dead horse <laughs> like it's something that has been needed to you've been needing to walk away from for a long time or i just feel like to, it's gotten to the point where it's beyond repair or there's nothing left to do. There's really, I mean, there's nothing you can do with these glasses, really, other than throw them away. I mean, good luck trying to 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 put them back together, right? I just feel like there's no hope of that. It's time to move on. Eight of Cups is coupled with. Yeah, I told you it's time to move on. Look at that, the Ten of Swords. I mean, you can't get any more dead than Ten Swords... I'm sorry, nine swords through your back and one through your skull. Look, this one is going through the bull's eye sockets. Like, you can't get any more dead than that. So it's time to let this go. And look, for some of you, I understand because <laughs> the phrase beating a dead horse is kind of like resonating really strongly in my mind, but it's not, it's not for any real reason other than the fact that Taurus is a fixed sign and once Taurus gets locked into a trajectory, it is really hard to change the, the, uh, to change it. And that's any fixed sign, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo. Okay. Once you get going in a direction, you're hard pressed to get them to stop. It's okay. It's fine. No one is judging you here. No one is, no one is holding that against you. If you have people holding that against you, that's their problem. You did it for your own reasons, but now you know it's time to go. It's time to let go. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, all right? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here. Oof, there's the Nine of Swords. There's the Nine of Swords <laughs> dealing with the anxiety. And I really feel like, Taurus, the anxiety here is the uncertainty about what new is coming into your life after all of this phases out. Now, we all know about the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is that energy of um, self-fulfilling prophecy, fear, nightmare, um, things that, uh, illusionary circumstances, things that aren't real, okay? Don't give in to this Nine of Swords energy. I get it. Look, you have, you're at, you're at a strong ending right now, Taurus. You have all of the Nines on the table. Okay, this is a very strong en en ending energy for you right now. So yes, you're a fixed sign. You don't like uncertainty. You don't like not knowing what's going to happen, i.e. uncertainty. So, okay, so you're just going to have to deal with that a little bit while things shift. 
Nine of Swords is coupled with. Five of Pentacles. Oh, I don't like that, Taurus. You are good enough. Feeling like you're not going to be good enough for the next phase. Feeling like you're not going to have enough money, specifically. Uh, no, don't. Where am I going to live? What am I going to do for work? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, all that kind of stuff. It's f This is your challenge right now. And the only reason you have this Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles energy in your challenge in the second half of this reading here is because of the uncertainty. Because there's a lot of change that's happening. There are a lot of ending. And you are at an ending. Right about to hit the completion of everything. Okay. Don't worry about this energy. I don't want to. I don't want you to focus on this too much. Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Don't even focus on that. Do as much. Pay. Pay as. Pay little. No. Pay zero attention to it. I mean, obviously, let's. We're gonna be practical. We're gonna be like honest and real here. Okay, that's not always gonna happen, but as as. As minimal as minimal can get. If you can manage not focusing on that energy at all, that's even better. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Taurus. The Knight of Wands. Look at you activated and ready to go. This is a very fast moving energy. Very excited, exuberant. I do also feel like you're kind of excited for the new. But okay, the practical aspect of you is kind of sinking in and you're like, holy shit, with all this new. But then you're also like, oh my god, all this new. But then you're like, holy shit, all this new. <laughs> all right. I still feel like you're excited to a certain extent, or at least excited enough, activated enough. You've got the momentum. You've got the drive. It's coming in. You're doing it. Knight of Wands is coupled with... The Three of Wands. There you go. You're doing it. You are on the path. You are moving in the right direction. If you're questioning whether or not you're going in the right direction, I would say that you are. Excellent, Taurus. Let's close this out. Let's get some closing guidance messages for you from the unicorns here. Um, and then next I'm going to do your love reading, which is going to be available on Patreon. If you're not following me on Patreon there and you would like to do so, the link is in the description box below. All love readings are going over to Patreon. Yeah, but let's close this out. Get you some closing advice, some closing guidance from the unicorns for your month of May, Taurus. 2020. May 20. Oop, there, right there. Two of them. Okay, you have two cards here. You have healer and you have possibility. So possibility says raise your standards, elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. So for those of you that are kind of questioning whether you're actually going to be able to do this, how things are going to work out, anything is possible. You have to let go of the, the, the extreme rigidness to allow space for the universe to come in and make miracles in your life, okay? And then you also have healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. So you definitely, well, you're a healer. Or for some of you, this healer energy is resonating. For I feel like this could be two different things. Either you're resonating with possibility or you're resonating with the fact that you're a healer or you're resonating with both. Okay. But I do feel like for some of you, the, what the new modality that you're moving into or the new phase that you're moving into is one of healing. And spirit wants you to understand that miracles can happen at, at any time. Anything is possible. You have unlimited potential. Expect bigger Batter greater things. Okay. Uh, you, you can, it is safe to allow yourself to do that. Yeah? All right, Taurus. There you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of June. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!